the incoming X-ray or gamma-ray photon, interacts with nucleus of atom. The photon is completely absorbed by the atomic nucleus. And the nucleus becomes excited. The nucleus deoxides by releasing neutron or proton or nuclear fragment. You can see in the example, X-ray or gamma-ray photon interacts with a copper nuclei on the left side of equation. And on the right-hand side of equation, a neutron is ejected leaving behind an isotope of copper. The above reaction has a definite threshold, 10.86 MeV that means photons with energy below 10.86 MeV, cannot do above reaction. Types of photodisintegrations are, gamma P, gamma N, gamma D, gamma T, and, gamma alpha, where D stands for deuteron and T stands for tritium, 1H3. Threshold energy, for photodisintegration. The threshold for this effect is, over 10 MeV for most nuclei. Why the threshold energy is, so large. Binding energy, of individual nucleons inside a nucleus is of the order of 10 MeV. That means, a nucleon need to have this much energy, to overcome nuclear binding energy, and get ejected from the nucleus. Hence, X-rays or gamma rays with high energy only, around 10 MeV, can provide sufficient energy externally to the nucleon, to disintegrate, from the nucleus. These are few nuclides undergoing gamma, neutron, or X-ray, neutron reaction. Threshold energy for these nuclides are around 10 mega electron volts and more. The corresponding radioactive daughter nuclide, thus resulted after gamma N, Reaction are given in column 3. What happens to the nucleus after photodisintegration? Suppose a neutron is released from an atom due to photodisintegration. The nucleus is now having lesser number of neutrons than required. So, the unstable nucleus becomes radioactive. Probability is zero below the threshold energy. Probability increases with increasing energy above threshold. Reaches a maximum or peak called giant resonance peak. Then decreases beyond peak. This table gives energy values for resonance peak for different nuclides, undergoing photodisintegration. It's similar to photoelectric effect for electron. As one or more nucleons are ejected, it's also named as nuclear photo effect. In photoelectric effect, photon is absorbed and 
electron is knocked out from atom. Similarly in case of photodisintegration, nucleons are knocked out by photons. Such a reaction occurs only above a given energy threshold. The threshold energy is different for different nuclei or isotopes. As already mentioned, values for threshold energy is very large and is nearly 10 mega electron volts and above. The chance of photodisintegration is maximum at a particular energy and lesser elsewhere. This is referred to as giant resonance and often is attributed to electric dipole absorption of photon. You can refer back to graph for giant resonance peak. The peak occurs between 5 and 40 mega electron volts depending on the nuclei or isotope. The most common photonuclear reaction is, gamma, N. The release of a nucleon from the nucleus may result, in a radioactive daughter product. The reaction cross-section or probability is proportional to Z. Photodisintegration is endothermic, for atomic nuclei lighter than iron and, sometimes exothermic for atomic nuclei heavier than iron. For lighter nuclei, photon or energy is absorbed and, a nucleon is emitted. So, energy is absorbed in the process that is the process is. For heavier nuclei, there may be emission of gamma rays with a nucleon, in photodisintegration. So making the process, exothermic. Even at high energies, photodisintegration is an uncommon event. It can contribute between 2% for high Z element and 6% for low Z element of the total cross section. Do not occur in diagnostic radiology X-ray energy range. Maximum used diagnostic X-ray energy is around 140 kilo electron volts, whereas minimum energy required for Photo disintegration is around 10 mega electron volts. Hence, diagnostic X rays cannot do photo disintegration. It do occur in radiotherapy with X ray beam energy above 10 MV.